This is the fun part. We all have to align our bags like that. And then um, there's a dog that's gonna come through and smell or sniff all of them to make sure nothing sketchy happens. I noticed there are disco nights in our ship. Oh my god, it's gonna be fun! Joanne. It's not very sunny, but it's still warm, but a great weather to sail. At least it's uh, not stormy. And the boat's looking big. It's called Maria Senya. Montenegro. You have the option to stay here and you get to enjoy some fresh sea air and then when you're here you also there's some snacks and drinks um yeah it's a nice big ship you can also charge your phones here Welcome to the AC area. Here we are. Our nice help for porters, they are brothers. They have helped us bring our luggages here. And then they are. And there are our bags. So you have the choice to stay up here if you want to lay down on the bed on top. And for us, we like staying here because it's a little cozier and more quiet. The only thing is, there's a hole here. So if your seat made there, snore so it's quite loud and that might be a little problem otherwise we're all right here so getting here uh you also have the option to put the seats right here at the back they're quite nice, uh, however you can lay down and at the back there there's also a table. So on our way here, a family is having breakfast. It's quite nice if you want a round table there. I do want to use the toilet, so let's go to the lavatory before it gets busy. It's just females are there, the male is just to the other side. Sport. Well, that sums up our trip in Ramblon. I had a great time, but I'm telling you, if you stay here less than a week, that will be lacking. It's Pitin in Tagalog. Definitely, we could have stayed more, explored the island more, get get a get to know the prices of the marble if you are buying wholesale. It's been a nice trip here. Diving, preferably, I quite like the one in Cebu. So you have Mualbol and uh, and the one in Don Sol over at Picol. Here, if you like macro, like really small, I don't know what they're called, pygmy seahorses and pygmy shrimps. Is that what they're called? And like rare nudie branches. Muesli bars, if you want to travel healthy, this might be a good option. Well, we made it to the port. This is Tablas. Welcome to Tablas Island. Well, basically, we're late for our next ship, sort of. Um, we're gonna dock from this ship to the next ship. So, yeah, let's go find a port and see if we can go to... To go is the next ship that we're heading to. Yeah, it might sound confusing. The name of this ship is Montenegro. And the other ship that we'll be boarding is called Two, number two, and then go. Um, yeah, we're still moving a bit and we're gonna wait for everyone to disembark. Okay, everyone's just getting ready to leave. Um, the ship actually goes to all the way to Batanga, so if you don't fancy getting off the bus, just stay on this. But for us, we were told that to go is much more comfortable than Montenegro, so that's why we are hopping off to another ship. So <laughs> the family behind me, they're, they're actually sailing all the way to Batangas. 
I did notice it's actually getting warm. They did turn off the AC. So it makes me wonder. Yeah, I suppose. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> our previous experience with riding to go or sailing with to go is very cold, like super cold. So we shall see how it's going to be like. about ships so seeing other ships or seeing how it functions and all the trucks going in it kind of amuses me because yeah it's absolutely far-fetched from the world I am coming from I'm very much used to riding or flying with planes rather than sailing with ships and we're here in the waiting area for our next boat there are a lot of people going to Batangas It's a very very busy port. I just went there to check out the food. One thing I appreciate about this is that they give water. It's complimentary if you want to refill your bio, your bottle. We are now boarding the ship. It's quite busy here. False alarm! We're um, going back to the same ship which is wrong. So we have to wait for it to go to come here. It's not here just yet. to go is about to arrive but I'm also looking around we don't have that much passengers on this ship because it's a little bit more expensive than Montenegro but like I've mentioned previously to go is a much more comfortable ship to take if you are heading for Manila which will be around uh, well not Manila but Tangas it's going to be about 10 hour sailing time um, yeah definitely less people and I'm hoping that it's going to be very peaceful inside the ship. I can't believe how empty right now this place is compared to the video that I shot a while ago. There's this whole place was jam-packed for the same boat ride going to Batangas. This ship that we're taking to go is also going to Batangas. But look, there's it's so empty. Wow, what a massive, massive difference. Part. We all have to align our bags like that and then uh, there's a dog that's gonna come through and smell or sniff all of them to make sure nothing sketchy happens. Labrador, huh? Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to describe our bags. Yeah, it was like a happy dog that Theo was wagging. Such a fluff, such a fluff, fluffy, fluffy poopy. 